Hi everybody, I just have a few quick announcements for you the second week of November. Uh, so I encourage you to join us for worship. You can join us here in person here at Bright Hope in Middletown, uh, or else you can join us online. You can join us via YouTube, Facebook, uh, and we also have another place we are streaming now from our website directly at bhbic.com. So I encourage you to check that out. This upcoming Sunday, we are going to be having communion together. This is just such a precious time for us to remember uh, the death of our Savior and, his, uh, and what he has done for us to rescue us and to change us and to help us. And so this Sunday, November 8th, we will be celebrating communion here at the church. Those of you connecting online, I encourage you to make sure you have uh, either the bread or the crackers available as well as uh, the grape juice or the wine uh, so that you can celebrate communion together with us. Uh, we are looking at uh, how can we become more like Jesus in our life together as followers in community. And one of the things that we've been doing over these last weeks is what I'm calling a 23 challenge. Uh, the two stands for our relationship with Christ we, where we want to spend two hours intentionally connecting with Jesus. We want to get into the scriptures and let them speak directly to us and comfort us and help us, encourage us, challenge us. Uh, but we also want to be able to spend time with him as we worship him, uh, either through worship music or just getting outside in nature. There are many ways in which you can do this. And uh, the three uh, part of the challenge for this past week uh, has been to choose three ways to love people that we disagree with. Uh, what a great time in our culture. What a great opportunity for us uh, to be able to reach out in love to those with whom we disagree. Pray for them, uh, encourage them, comfort them, uh, be helpful to them. There are many ways to do this, and I, I encourage you to do this because this is something that Jesus does with you quite often. Uh, I also want to encourage uh, those of you uh, who are able to join us in our nursery team so that we can get that open and serve uh, a number of our families who will be looking for that and will be needing that. Uh, we have a number of groups and classes coming up uh, this uh, week, uh, Sunday morning, November 8th, and also two weeks from Sunday on November the 22nd. Uh, Steve Martin uh, we will be leading Grace Cafe here at the church. Uh, we are using uh, as material for the class The Case for Faith by Lee Strobel. I encourage you to get involved with that. It's only a face-to-face -face class. This is one of the ones that does not have the online option. Uh, youth group is uh, scheduled to meet also this Sunday, November the 9th, here at the church at 6.30. So students, I encourage you to be a part of that. It's, excuse me, Sunday, November 8th. Uh, and so uh, we're going to be meeting here at the church Sunday evening at 6.30. If you have any questions, uh, please reach out to Andrew. His uh, contact information is here. Uh, our adult learning community, The Way, uh, will be meeting Monday evening, uh, this coming Monday evening, November 9th, here at the church at 7. Uh, there are options to connect via Zoom as well as face-to-face. -face. Uh, if you've never yet connected, you're certainly welcome to be a part of the group and to join us. Uh, if you want to connect via Zoom only and you're not yet a part of the group, please reach out to me directly so I can get you that secure connection information. Uh, we have also a group of us that we gather. It's a hybrid group. Some of us gather face-to-face -face here at the church. Others of us dial in via Zoom, and we simply gather together every week, Wednesday evening at 7, and we pray together. We pray for our country, uh, certainly, uh, but we also pray for each other and for our communities and other needs that people bring up. It's just a great time that we have to give thanks to God uh, together uh, for many of the good things that he's doing, uh, but it's also a time where we get to pour out our hearts to him together in prayer. I encourage you to be a part of that. If you need the Zoom connection information and you're not a part of the group yet, uh, please reach out to me and again I will get you connected. In terms of reaching out to me, here is my contact information. You have my text only number. You also have my voice and text line as well as my email. I encourage you to reach out to me. Go to our church website, bhbic.com. There you can find more information about our church and who we are and uh, where we're at. And I would just love to be able to connect with you and help you know, love, and follow Jesus. May you have a great rest of the day. Thanks.